Hi friends, welcome back to art class. Today we're gonna talk about some things that you've probably already learned. You probably learned some of it in kindergarten and in other art classes, but it's kind of a review that's leading to a new lesson. So, first, we all know our colors. We have red, orange, yellow, green, blue, and purple. So these are the basic colors of the rainbow. I know I didn't do indigo and violet like it says in the um, acronym, but these are the basic colors that you have. So in order to make um, any colors at all, you have to have what's called the primary colors. And I know I've talked to you about primary colors before in art class. So primary colors are red, blue, and yellow. So from these primary colors, you can make all the other colors. And you can't use any other colors to make these. You have to have these ones to make any other colors. Um, the colors that you can make from your primary colors are called secondary colors. So we're gonna see how blending colors together will make secondary colors. Um, we've done this a lot in art class because I'm really big on only giving you the primary colors so that you can mix your own. So I know that a lot of you know that when you blend certain colors together, they make a different color. So um, when you take red and blue, for example, it makes purple. So red is a primary color and blue is a primary color and purple is a secondary color, okay? When you blend blue and yellow, blue is a primary color and yellow is a primary color. You make a secondary color, which is green. And last, when you blend yellow and red, yellow primary, red primary, you make a secondary color, which is orange. So that is how we take primary colors and we blend them to make secondary colors. Now, today the lesson is actually about um, complementary colors, which is your primary colors and then the secondary colors that go with each, each one. So I'll show you that. Um, you've probably seen something like this. We haven't made this in art class yet. It was one of my projects that we didn't get to. But this is called a color wheel. Okay, you have your colors in order, red, orange, yellow, green, blue, purple. On your color wheel, the one that's opposite the color, see how it's opposite, it's directly across from it, like it's sitting across the table from it? That's a complementary color. It's a secondary color to the primary, and it's, it complements it. That means it helps it be its best, okay? So the complementary color for red is green, and the complementary color for blue is orange, and you guessed it, the complementary color for yellow is purple, okay? So here, I've given you a little cheat sheet. Um, you might want to just make your own little piece of paper that shows that um, when it comes to complementary colors, red goes with green, blue goes with orange, and yellow goes with purple. And that will be kind of like your um, piece of paper that you can look at in case you forget the lesson when you're not watching it, okay? So for our art project today, you're going to need two of the same um, blank coloring paper. So I've just printed out two. Um, some of our friends have told me that they don't have a printer. So I have a solution for that. Right here I have just a mermaid coloring book. And inside I've chosen a, just a very basic shell here. And if you take a piece of paper and you put it over the top, you can see through it. You can see through here. And you can use your parents to help you or on any adult, a grandparent or anybody to help you. And you just trace, trace it so that it looks like, kind of like, um, the picture underneath. So mine didn't even look exactly like it, but it will still work for this project, even if it's not perfect, okay? So that's one way you can get around not having a printer. So here is my very first coloring page. So I had these blank coloring pages, and I colored this first one with, you can see, only red, yellow, and blue. See, I put a little cheat sheet down here to remind me that I only used primary colors. I used red, yellow, and blue. Only primary colors on this paper because I wanted to remind myself of what the secondary colors were and how they, they go together and they look differently. So 
um, on this paper, everywhere that I did red, I did green. And everywhere that I did yellow, I did purple. And everywhere that I did blue, I did orange. So that's my challenge to you. Take one paper, color it with primary colors, and take the other paper and color it with secondary colors or complementary colors. So I'd love to see all of your posts and all of your pictures and all of your comments when you have a chance to do this. I only used markers and colored pencils for this project, so you don't need a lot of supplies. You just need paper and something to color with. So I hope you enjoyed the lesson, and I can't wait to see what you come up with. Bye.